Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you some top tips about how to get the best out of your washing machine and to prevent the possibility of a breakdown. Now, these tips have been accumulated over many years from our engineers who have dealt with common problems with customer appliances. Now, the first tip is to do with the detergent drawer. One of the main problems with the detergent drawer is conditioner not siphoning away. I'll just take the drawer out to help demonstrate. Now the conditioner not siphoning away may be due to old and thick conditioner blocking the siphons here, but it's more likely to be due to mold building up at the top of the detergent drawer. Now it's very easy to deal with, just grab yourself a nice strong brush like this and give it a good scrub to release all that build up at the top. Now it's also a good idea at the end of each wash cycle to either remove the drawer completely from the machine or to leave it fully out. This will stop the mold and bacteria from building up and allow the water to flow through the machine. Now the next tip relates to smells in the washing machine and in your washing. Now this is due to a bacteria buildup, either through a lack of hot washes or the drum remaining damp after washes. Now you'll see a buildup of bacteria and mold in the door seal as well. Easy enough to clean, give it a good scrub with a brush, getting rid of all the loose material. But to get the mold and bacteria out of the rest of the machine, we recommend regularly using a washing machine cleaner such as this one. And you can learn how to use one of these in our How to Cure a Smelly Washing Machine video. It's also a very good idea to leave your door wide open after each wash until the drum is dry. Now the next tip relates to detergents. Now I'm not going to advise you as to which detergent to use because it's down to personal preference. But what many people do is use a single detergent for both whites and colors. But there's an important distinction between the two. Now powders and hard tablets not marked for color use will contain bleach. Now bleach is great for making your whites look whiter, but over time they'll draw the color away from colored items. They'll make your reds look pink and your blacks look gray. For this reason, it's a good idea to use a powder marked for color use or a liquid detergent. Now liquid detergents don't contain bleach. So over time, they can make your whites turn gray. Now if they're marked for use with whites, they'll contain something called optical brighteners. These are microscopic particles that reflect light making your whites seem whiter. For this reason, it's a good idea to use a powder with bleach for use with whites or a bleach additive and with use with color washes, a liquid detergent or a powder marked specifically for use with color washes. Now the next tip relates to a vibrating machine. Now, if you've checked that the feet underneath the machine are adjusted correctly and the machine does not rock when pushed, but you put it on a spin cycle and it still vibrates, it's likely that it's not the machine's fault. This will be due to an unbalanced load. If you're putting heavy items in with light items, the machine finds it hard to balance the load and starts to vibrate. So if you're washing things like jeans or towels, it's a good idea to group these items together when washing or put enough of them in to even out the load. And you can see more details and information on this problem by watching our How to Prevent a Washing Machine Spinning Noisily video. Now the last tip is arguably the most important tip. If when loading your machine you accidentally leave items in the pocket such as matches, coins or hair grips, at best these will block the pump and stop the machine from draining and these can be accessed by removing the filter. But at worst, these can cause the machine to catch fire or pierce the drum and cause your washing machine to flood. So it's essential that when loading your machine to make sure that all the pockets are empty. By passing on these tips, we hope that you get the best out of your machine and help you to reduce the breakdowns. But of course, if you do need spares and accessories, these can be found on the eSpares.co.uk website. Thanks for watching.